My name is Paulis and I run the Time and Time Again Cookery School in West Sussex and I'm going to share some culinary tips with you. I'm going to show you how to make easy mashed potato, very simple. I've got a King Edward, nice and flowery, a nice potato that's going to hold together, that won't absorb too much water, very important to get the right potato, so nice, nice quarter inch dice I'm going to do today. Cut them down, and nice, very important to get the, the, uh, the sizes even, even sizes. Again, King Edward, Marius Piper, a nice flowery type potato, very important. Then it goes in cold water, very important. In cold water, to release all that starch as well. Nice bit of salt. Now what you can do, when your water comes to the boil, you can add salt to the water and it oxidises the water and it, and it actually speeds up the process. So when it, if you haven't put any salt at all and it comes to, come to a gentle boil, add some salt and it will oxidise the water and it will get the, um, the water going. So I'm going to pop that on now. When it comes to the boil, I reckon, because quite, they're quite small, I reckon about sort of like 15 minutes and uh, I'll take them out and I'll drain them really, really full, take all that moisture out and then I'll add some, um, some flavourings and we'll come back to that. So coming back to my potatoes, to take it off, take it off the boil. It's been on there for about a good 15, 20 minutes. And I'll just double check to see how far we're up. Nice and soft, that's what I'm looking for. And if you notice with these potatoes, they've not gone all too soggy, they still, they still kept their shape and they don't absorb too much water because we've got the right potato for the right job. So what I want to do is just drain it off. Very important to drain every single bit of the water off because we don't want to. Uh... Now, what you can do for a quick tip, you can actually put the potatoes back in the pan, and you can put them back on the heat to really, really dry up the, uh, the potatoes. But they're, they're actually quite all right, and there's not too much um, moisture in the potato as well. So you can do that. Put it back onto the stove, and just take out the excess water from it to make it a real dry potato. But it's actually quite nice. And like I said, we've got a nice uh, marriage piper. Potato. Again, King Edward is quite nice. Again, nice flurry or a jacket potato. Again, again, they're, they're quite a nice potato to use. So we're going to mash these down. Entirely up to you. Olive oil, really nice. Butter, even better. Um, but if you're watching your watching your figure, olive oil is a, is a nice little option. In goes the butter. Give it a nice luxurious taste. Now you can add cream to this. Reduce a bit of cream, a bit of rosemary into your mash, quite nice. I'm just gonna keep it simple. Gonna add a nice bit of, nice bit of um, salt and pepper, keep it simple. I've got my butter in now. Mash that down. Nice and creamy. So like I said, I can, I can actually, even this mixture now, I can put back on the stove and really get a nice, nice sort of creamy stodge from it. Nice bit of salt and pepper. Too much. A lot of professional kitchens don't use black pepper, they use white pepper so they can't see the grains for it. But I like to see uh, I like to see what I'm eating. Here we are mashing it through. Nice and creamy. Taking it off there. Here we have nice creamy mashed potato. Again we can add some cream to that. We can add some herb to that. We can do a basil mash thyme mash, entirely up to you. We've got a nice creamy mash for whatever you want to use for your for your main course. And that's how I make easy mashed potatoes.